gag me, take me to the bunny ranch. People dying, kill me in the packing house. Even you have I'm the best. No, I'm, just I'm okay. <laughs> Bunny ears three. Uh, if we're going in in terms of chipmunk and uh, numbering, I believe we're at our uh, chipper act, guys. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're we're we are. We are <laughs> yeah, we're, we're Bunny ears three chipper act. This yeah, is clear, clearly trilogy. the name of this episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm uh, I'm in. Yeah, I uh, start, Al, uh, you know Alvin Simon Theodore. I started doing a thing a few years ago where I was referring to all sequels as either ch- uh, the sque- squeakle or chipper act. So uh, like uh, Return of the uh, Empire Strikes Back became Star Wars the squeakle. Yeah, yeah, and Return yeah. of the Jedi Jedi is Star Wars chipwrecked. Like it's like a Lord of the Rings electric boogaloo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was breaking too, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh breaking. Oh yes. Uh, I'm Matt Cohen. Uh, I'm McLeckleckleckleckleckleckleckleckleckleckleckleckleckleckleckleckleckleckleckleckleckleckleckleckleckleckleckleckleckleckleckleckleckleckleckleckleckleckleckleckleckleckleckleckleckleckleckleckleck
uh, I think I was actually, I went over to uh, Brandon's house and there oh, were like oh. four or five of you guys there. Oh yeah. Oh, you got invited to Brandon's house, which actually is only like four blocks from here right I, now where right, I was I currently sitting. I actually, I the exact not, address uh, being, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Brandon's mother became my manager and you guys were all right. hanging out and I actually called up and I was like, I don't know anybody in this city. Mm -hmm. I don't know what people do. So here. you were an actor too, right? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. And you guys all went to like a school for actor kids. The, it's yeah. called the professional children's school, which is none of the above. <laughs> it's, it's not is professional. Really the There's no children and, the, and it's barely a school. Uh, uh, yeah, that actually literally is the name like of it. sounds like it would be a school for just the little businessmen. Like yeah, eight-year-old right? kids with attache cases. Exactly. <laughs> professionals. Young professionals. Yeah. Wearing suits and well, ties. Well, this is the thing is that it's not, it wasn't really a performing arts school. Like it, that's not where like, you know, they weren't teaching you a trade right. or anything like that. It was for people who were like working and, or, you know, like the actors would go off on auditions or, you know, the, the, the dancers from the school of, uh, you know, like the school of American ballet. ballet. Yeah. Yeah. So it would, would, would like, leave. it was one of those places where like, yeah, you had to be able to leave in the middle of the day and like you just sign out and, you know, so there's, it was a lot of, a lot of people had day jobs essentially. Well, it like sounds they, like it was meant for kids basically without a, who can be on a kind of looser schedule and structure. Yeah, they, right, exactly. It, it, yep. It's pretty much, they allowed for you to go work it was kind of it had elements even of a correspondence school like kind of thing like when you'd be like on DeVry the, yeah right exactly did you guys University get, of Phoenix yeah when, <laughs> when, did you get trained in computer technology yeah whatever? right right no, because it, it was paralegal. I uh, never knew what that was for years, but I heard it all yeah, the yeah, time. Yeah. Oh yeah, the, the, the yeah. list scrolling down. No, I mean like whatever. I was on the road. It was uh, 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 my old school just couldn't keep up with my schedule because they just weren't designed that way. You know, there's 30 other yeah. kids doing the same work as me, and I, I'm submitting my stuff. Like, you know, they have to mail it or even, like, whatever, fax it. That, then, that's how then long I ago it, it was. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, like, yeah. Actually, uh, uh, the <laughs> newfangled the, the machine, the fax. You, the got, fax a, you was... got a raven with your math homework? <laughs> yeah, you're pretty much, yeah, exactly, yeah. A screech, and then, <laughs> you know, and then bang. Uh, um, so, uh, uh, yeah, so we went to that. It wasn't fame. You know, sure. <laughs> like the, right. you know, it was kind of just a lot, a lot of people kind of just like I said, people had day jobs and crap like that. And you guys kind of instantly hit it off or. Yeah. I mean, I mean, go Stu ahead. You seem to have Stu. a different take on that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think we did. Well, I, well, I, I teased you a shit ton. <laughs> he teased me a Cause lot. Because you were a new dude. <laughs> he teased me a lot. But I, I will say. Actually, <laughs> you say that like you've got some. Un, 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 you know, yeah, I know. Yeah, dude. Un, un, I know your face. Your, trauma. Trauma. your face yeah. betrays you, dude. Go ahead. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm Come just, at me, bro. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the. You can punch I, him if you want. I, I actually remember there. I was I, I had just come from an audition and I was passing by PCS and your place used to be right next door to the school. Yeah. And you were coming in from, I'm, I think, the, uh, the the park we used to hang out at. Oh, um, the one next to Sims? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you were just like, hey, man, what are you doing right now? And I was like, I'm about to go home. And you were like, what? you want to come upstairs yeah, and hang You're out? blonde. I'm blonde. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're the two, Let's no one, get together. And what's funny is <laughs> we're now, only now, two Irish guys in the school. Why don't we hang the, out? Now it's the opposite because uh, for folks who don't know, me and Stu are both bald men with beards. <laughs> yeah. So when we hang out with Mac, we look like his henchmen. Yeah, well, some of us <laughs> Like number one and number two. You know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. Like sitting behind me with your arms crossed, exactly. just nodding. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Track suits, the whole thing. But I think it was funny because it was after like, you know, after a year of being in school, you know, I don't know. It was like the second semester, and at, at one point, you know, you invited me up, and I was like, "Oh man, it's it's five o'clock. We got to watch The Simpsons." And you were like, "You like The Simpsons?" And I was like, "Yeah, of course, man. I love The Simpsons." I was like, "Oh, that's an awesome chess set." You were like, "You play chess?" I was like, "Dude, we really should be talking." Mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and you know, then there was Toe Jam and Earl got brought up. Yep. And it was just like it was just, an old same game, just one after another. And then like, yeah, we, like and then it was like Mario three, like oh, of course. And then like uh, it was just like it was so like I remember like you, uh, we get like talking about like a, oh the free life. You're like oh yeah the extra extra. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, uh, wow, okay, wow, that is just so specific. <laughs> like, you know, like, the, like, like you call free lives extra mextras. <laughs> extra mextras? Yeah, that, that would be. Oh, yeah, you get the extra mextra. <laughs> that was, explain the. Uh, that would, extra life. Extra that would be my older brother's influence. He always called, he always had made up things and names for things. And, and you just said them as if you thought they were normal. That's, I always thought everything he said was normal. <laughs> I got into a lot of trouble because of that. <laughs> That's big brothers for you. <laughs> extra extra. Yeah. Like I remember when I stopped and just laughing like extra extra. Yeah. 
<laughs> Duh. Like, so what do you, what what do you, you call, call them? <laughs> <laughs> a car hold. <laughs> well, here's a weird question. So I, I grew up in Long Island, and uh, which isn't far from the city, but I always there was always a thing to me with kids who live. I didn't understand how kids could live in the city. They were like sure. walking down the streets by themselves and going on subways. I was just going to say we walk a lot. <laughs> it just it seems like what what was it like being a teenager in Manhattan and having the entire city at your disposal? Well, he was a transplant, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> you could probably talk it, better than yeah. It was a very it it was a very weird experience. I, for me, I moved over here, and I was uh, I my parents had put me up with a colleague of my mother's, and then the person actually had to leave about three months into it, mm-hmm. and so I was all of a sudden by myself in the city at like I had just turned fifteen, and my Pretty parents live it on your own, yeah. like the East Village. You know? mm-hmm. <laughs> my parents were like, uh, "How you know?" Wait, you were literally living on your own? I was literally how old? fifteen. Is that legal? No. It's oh. <laughs> like, how did you Pro- sign a lease? Probably fronting it. Uh, you didn't. We already lease. had the apartment, and it was like I, I needed to finish out the school year. And my parents would like put me up with like babysitters who would come by and like make sure I was doing my homework and like doing my laundry and Aww. eating my dinner. At 15, I, I, I never got the keys to my house growing up because my, my, dad, my, my dad worked <laughs> you from home. the keys to your they house? They were there, or like I was locked out. Yeah. And I also wasn't allowed to use the oven. Until I moved out of my house at eighteen, like I would never use an oven. No, uh, no, I hadn't actually. Well, no, I was gonna yeah. say, I mean, like, if you weren't allowed, yeah, exactly. I don't know. I don't know if sheltered was the right word, but like, it certainly was. Cuddled. Uh, me- yeah, there we go, buddy. Uh, held, 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 held gently. <laughs> and, held hostage yeah. by my parents. <laughs> in, a, in, a way, in a good way. In a gilded fucking prison. Yes, place. yes, no. But it course. was like, you know what I mean? I remember, I remember being like sixteen, and uh, we were all like. Rent a limo and come to the city and go to like those underage clubs. Oh, you were those. You were you were those guys. Like space and <laughs> bridge, and, bridge and, and tunnel exit and yeah yeah bridge and tunnel. Ground. Literally, yep. I, I took a bridge to get here, man. Um, that's what I mean. Yeah, that's uh, why we, that's why we called have, you though. That <laughs> I have not heard that term. You've never years. heard the bridge, oh, and bridge and tunnel. tunnel oh, just, oh yeah, it's been a while. It's in, uh, yeah. Ghostbusters. The last, yeah, the last time I heard that term was uh, 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 the last time I said it, which was like a, while, a long time ago. <laughs> about ten seconds ago. <laughs> well, you know, there you go. Uh, Ghostbusters too. Statue of Liberty, man. She's a Jersey. Girl. Yes. 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 <laughs> they do not make Nikes in her size. No. <laughs> um, but yeah, like just ever like sneak into spa. Remember that place? Spa? Yeah, I, I had, I had. So like, I, I wasn't a big. I think I, I don't know if you. I, I, Limelight, I definitely went to. Oh geez, I even I actually funny enough uh, cons- uh, considering you know. Sure, like the, I remember know. us. I went Limelight one. No, I never went to Limelight. Oh, was it not Limelight? I thought no. it was uh, maybe. It was, At, was it place. Avalon, which was after Limelight, right? Ooh, no, I've actually no, I've never. I actually haven't even been to the market that's there. That's so funny. That's, yeah, yeah. I, that was hilarious. I played Michael Alec, and I've never been to freaking um, Limelight. And then there was a club called like Exit, and there was a club called Space, and there was a club called. <sighs> House or door or one word. Ooh, something. that one. Kind of, tunnel, yeah, yeah. tunnel. Oh, oh, tunnel. Definitely. I remember. <laughs> yeah, I read yeah, yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the thing. A lot of that stuff was. Uh, listen, like, despite my reputation, I was actually a good boy. I didn't start going to clubs till I was like twenty, twenty-one. You know, yeah. Like people thought I was like, yeah, like freaking going to limelight and tunnel. Like when I was like fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, it's, it's weird. Like, and I, so I was I, a pretty good kid. I know? lived. I lived. Or, in not this... a good kid, but I was. <laughs> but I, but, I, but, I, <laughs> but I, you know, I, I was. I wasn't. You know, I wasn't on the scene. No, I, wasn't I mean, the scene we were stir. only just hanging out, playing video games all the time, and but. but because there were like five of us or six of us there, it was like it Macaulay felt like Culkin holds like parties. Yeah, holds parties where like they like sl- you know they Play sip chess. on Budweisers. You know, forties. You know, yeah, yeah for- well maybe forties. <laughs> I left that part out. You know? uh, and then, uh, 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 yeah, it was like I mean, gosh, remember my uh, you know my bachelor party on seventeen? We spent the whole time playing hearts. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> we literally did. That's what we did. Oh we sat God. on the floor Indian style and played hearts. What do you do at a seventeen year old bachelor party, right? Well, exactly. I mean, and actually I didn't even throw a bachelor party. I threw like a you know, surprise bachelor party. I'm like, oh great. Like, you know, here's a cut here's a couple people that I like and a couple people who are peripherals and uh, you know <laughs> all right, cool. Like how about oh, we just play hearts for bro? those of you confused or not who don't are not intimately aware, I guess we should mention you were married for a hot minute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, for a couple of years. A couple okay. of years, you know. Yeah. Uh, uh, but yeah, when I was 17 yeah yeah yeah. from 17 to 19 but also we didn't uh, get an official divorce like till i was like 21 22 so you know i was what? technically married for like five years the fuck was i doing when i was 17 i because i definitely wasn't married i was playing like <laughs> you sims and like what? you've never been <laughs> <laughs> is this a picture of you in outer space <laughs> Oh, Grimesy. Uh, it's it's crazy. It's it, and I think that is a part of, and it's not everyone, but I think that's part of growing up in the city. Is you guys grew up so much quicker than than kids in the suburbs, like to a point where you could be married. At that was even a thought. 
I guess so. I mean, whenever I, I, I can go into the psychology of the whole thing, but I'm not going to. Please don't. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, exactly. No, no, it's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, but yeah, no, I mean, we were just two kids. Loved each other very much and uh, whatever. It was stupid. We were, we were stupid kids and it was fun, though. And I, I don't regret it for, for, uh, for, for a single second. Do you remember? I came in. Actually, uh, here's, my, here's my wedding ring. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I have it handy. <laughs> I came in uh, for spring break because I was, I was living back in Ohio at that point. I came in for spring break and I was spending the week with you. And I come, I come in, and I see Kieran first, and then you come out and you're like, "Did you tell him?" And I was like, "What?" And Kieran goes, "No, I haven't told him yet." Well, you I didn't look, know. I looked over at Mac, and he just smiles, and I was like, "Oh no, dude, you're not getting married, are you?" And he goes, uh, "Yep, yep, <laughs> <laughs> yepers, yeah, 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 really young and brash." Were you at the wedding, Stu? I was at the yeah, wedding. You wore a kilt. I wore a kilt to the wedding. Uh, underwear underneath or no? Absolutely Abs- not. Nah, yeah. What do you think he is? Like, yeah. <laughs> they, they never do, right? They, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not supposed, not supposed to. Supposed yeah, to. yeah, exactly. That's a poser. The point is to show your balls. Like, <laughs> I don't actually know why. Why are they is not this supposed this? to wear underwear? I, don't I mean, know. what's the point of wearing a kilt unless it's like you know, you, you get, it's quick breathable. Access. It's breathable. <laughs> quick access, exactly. <laughs> so and got- I used to, I'm, I used to tease Stu about a. a, a, a because he was like, oh, oh, he's from like Columbus, Ohio. And I was like, oh, that's like so white bread waspy. Like, I bet you your mom's meatloaf is delicious. You know? <laughs> and then it became a running gag for He called me was meatloaf it? for like three years. What is, <laughs> your <laughs> like, What's up? Uh, t- uh, that's your mom's meatloaf. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> and it's like, he was just meatloaf. You know? Hey, Ohio How are you guys still Come friends? <laughs> so he made fun of you, called you meatloaf. <laughs> you know, there, there was a, uh, you know, there was a, uh, a hazing you, you period. There, there were nice moments. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There was, like, there was always a hazing period when you it came to my apartment. don't see him the way that I see so him. He's I, wonderful. I don't, I don't have... You sound like so abused, bro. <laughs> um, I don't have any friends from high school, let alone my time. In, like, I, I dump friends every time I move cities. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I don't speak to a single person I was friends with before I lived in Los Angeles. I'm just getting an image of you, like, calling them up and saying, look, I'm, le- I'm moving. You and I are through. It's not yeah, even I'm a call. <laughs> yeah, it's just, like, gone fishing, but, like, gone California. <laughs> I'm going to go get a pack of cigarettes. Uh, uh, are you, are you, but back. you're probably still Facebook friends with some yes, of them. Yes, of course. Exactly. Of, a lot of, them, of course. No like, interactions. <laughs> but, but so like I'd say the longest friendship I've I am actively engaged in is probably like six months. Ten years. Ten years. You guys have like fucking what was it? Twenty two. What is yeah. that like? Knowing someone for that long of a time. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's like knowing somebody for ten years, but like twelve Twice years more. But, 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 even, <laughs> Almost, yeah. even, but maintaining ten years of a friendship is nearly impossible. I can't imagine fucking. And there's some driftage and stuff like that. Like you know, I lived, I, I moved out of the city for a while. You know, things like that. Like you know, there's driftage. I, you know, I was up in, in Ohio at first, and then I was off in Europe, and then I was in college. Yeah, because yeah, he, he, yeah, yeah. Stu, Stu, went, Stu went to a this boarding school favorite. in Switzerland. To yes, learn German? <laughs> to learn German, exactly. Specifically to learn German. Specifically to learn German. And, and uh, you were also a, a, a legacy. I was a legacy. Then, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's just, my, my father you played Were you a prefect? Rugby. Which house were you in? Uh, Hufflepuff or uh, Raven, yeah, Ravenclaw? Exactly, exactly. I was in the greatest house that that school has ever produced, Orania. It was the best. Are you Iranians listening? Ooh, boy! Do you speak Iranian? <laughs> where, where in o- Iranian tongue? <laughs> where in Switzerland was the school? Uh, the school is about, I, f- I think it was about ten kilometers uh, from Saint Moritz, so in the mountains. Just absolutely gorgeous. Wait, there's mountains in Switzerland? Yeah, there are a few. <laughs> there's a couple of them, I guess. So how how do you, how did you guys maintain? You know, just how off? What was the longest you guys didn't speak for? I guess. Well, I don't know. I mean, gosh, they're getting some issue. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just curious. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what, like four years or something like that, maybe. You know, yeah, th- was... a stretch like that. Yeah. I think yeah. Three or also, years. I'm I'm not great with my phone. <laughs> we're that's, aware. that's really what the issue is. Honestly, it was like yeah, it really was. You were was, making yeah. you were making the effort. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, and it's kind of just like yeah, I'm I'm living in L.A. I'm you know I'm 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 living in L.A. getting laid and <laughs> not answering my phone, not calling Stu back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I think you know you had asked before like what what do you do with a friend who's like you've known for 22 years, and I think one of the things that we have been able to do is, you know, when something's going bad or whatever, you always know you can call somebody up and play a game of chess, and that's kind of what you do. Or you play Sega, and, you know, 
It's exactly. Like, and, and nobody else, you know, if you can pick up where you left off. Yeah. Most friends of mine, I think if I were like, oh, yeah, you know, let's go and play Toe Jam and Earl because I just kind of don't want to do anything right now. Mm-hmm. And I don't most of them would be like, I don't even remember that game. Is that is that something we used to do? Yeah, exactly. Whereas, oh, I kind of <laughs> it rings a bell. How <laughs> many times have you guys beat Toe Jam and Earl? Oh, God. It, oh, it's, <laughs> it's 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 in the thousands. Yeah, it really, it really is. is in the thousands. It's gotten to a point where we've like had to make up games inside of the game. Yeah, we have, to we make would, it interesting exactly. Tell me, your, tell me your Toe Jam and Earl mini games that you uh, we do speed runs now. Fair uh, enough. Yeah. I was gonna ask if you guys speed run it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 we we we're, we're at fifty eight minutes. Fifty. And actually, I, I can record, pull it up. Yeah. It's like fifty eight minutes and like point oh five. And you if know, you're playing super minute. casually, what's the playtime on it? Like three um, hours. Well, that's the thing. It that's the, that's the game within games kind of because then you try to actually like screw each other over a little bit. You're, you know, yeah. It's it's yeah. Because we what we do is uh, we because uh, there's ten ship pieces you're supposed to collect over twenty five boards. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I don't. Re- I remember. I definitely played Toe Jerome. Toe Gentleman and Earl. Toe Jerome Merle. That's the sequel we're coming out with, guys. Toe Gentleman. Toe Gentleman. The League of Extraordinary Toe Gentlemen. And Earl. <laughs> Wait till you see Earl, guys. Oh. <laughs> You'll never believe what Earl did. Click here. <laughs> <laughs> Told you to and Earl has, you know, uh, uh, 2019. <laughs> you should get those guys on the podcast. Well, we, we, we would we've to. already kind of, <laughs> like, we, we, we've already tickled him. We've you, already talked about you that. You contacted idea. Toe Jam and Earl? Well, no, we, wanted, we actually looked up the creators and oh, everything. Okay. Like, yeah, I, thought, kind of, I thought you meant you literally talked to Toe Jam and Earl. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I do. I mean, I, I do. That's but like, that's, when I, that's when I'm just like, you know, masturbating uh, and looking in the mirror in the bathroom. <laughs> that's like my dream guest, though, the, the creators of Toe Jam and Earl. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I know. So anyway, there's like, you know, so you have to find 10 pieces over uh, uh, t- 25 boards. And uh, so it's all, you know, we keep track of who is, um, uh, you know, who gets like what piece. And, and so if I got a piece, he'd have to take a shot. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so we're, we do a lot of that kind who of stuff. Who plays Toe Jam and who plays Earl? I'm does Toe it Jam. switch every I'm, time? No, I'm always Earl. He's always Toe Jam. Yep. Are you happy with that? I, I love that. Is in that fact, your preferred? That's, that's, that's our preferred thing. He's even listed in my phone as TJ mm, yep, instead, yep. instead of his Mac. Mm, darn too. You're listed in my phone as Devin Sawa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, and that's uh, actually true. I know. I've seen that. <laughs> and uh, uh, Stuart is under Disco Stew, which is one <laughs> yeah, you. I, bo- you. I borrowed it from, uh, I have the same contact in mind, and now yeah, says Disco, Disco Stew. Stew. What do you guys have us in your your phone says email us at uh, bunny ears pod at gmail.com <laughs> and tell us if what would you have us in your phone says <laughs> yeah yeah be creative it's, with yeah, it yeah just you know go nuts go go, go nuts build, <laughs> build your own roller coaster in your mind kind yeah of thing, yeah you know? exactly you know yeah uh, um, what does your disney world look like <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we have a lot of like sub games in there like and, like i said we try to screw each other over and all that you know like I, i've actually done some really dick moves <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> what, what's a dick toe jam and earl move? for all of you wondering he is an ass Asshole when he wants to do dick moves. <laughs> like, when this guy wants to be a dick, he's an asshole. I, I, yep, exactly. Oh, uh, like my, he'll be flying with Icarus wings, and like as soon as he hits a hole, like I'll just like switch the presence that he has so he falls through the hole. Uh, 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 there was, there was the, my, one of my favorites because we were racing towards a piece. We were both on the same screen, and I opened up my slingshot and just tried to kill you, just straight up, just like murder you. Like yeah, like just. Uh, it's very basic. My but favorite. It's, it's no, awesome. I love that stuff. My oh, fa- surprise rocket skates. Surprise rocket skates is actually is my, that's not. Being a dick, actually, I really enjoy. Surprise Honestly, that was skates. hilarious. We, we were so rolling. What is surprise floor, like, rocket skates? It's when he opens up rocket skates, but I'm not expecting is, it. As soon as and rocket skates, and you're just like, whoa! <laughs> yeah, no. And when you do, it, it's like you, you're like almost uncontrollable, <laughs> and you're, you're flying around. It's it's easy to fall off the map, and all, so all of a sudden, I'll just kind of, just, I'll make sure, like, I'll just like, like surprise rocket skates, and then like, we're both just like, <laughs> fuck you. Yeah, no. It, yeah, honestly, like, we were rolling on the floor, like, like laughing, like the first one was like popped out surprise rocket skates he always keeps a, a, a randomizer Guys, we, present we to don't, the end we, yeah, don't, we, we don't have our, our YouTube page up just yet so we can't direct people I think or maybe we can and we'll edit in right now just search for bunny ears on YouTube Denver da, Broncos da, 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 Denver Broncos Denver Broncos <laughs> oh we did that yeah good yeah, yeah you're on board man <laughs> But um, you know, we should. I, I was always actually yeah, like really should. upset about the fact that the Denver Broncos <laughs> on that episode, you know, they had won the the Super Bowl, 
and they never alluded to the fact that Homer Simpson was the owner of, of the, the Denver, Denver Broncos. Was, yeah. he was he already the owner? But it doesn't owner? matter, even if he was a previous owner. Like, this is, like, they, it was an opportunity that was missed. It was, yeah, huge opportunity missed. Remember when he bought the... That's my favorite Simpsons episode. The Scorpio episode? It's, it's the Hank Scorpio. The Scorpio. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, it's brilliant. I'm, I'm shocked that they haven't brought, like, yeah, back Scorpio. And I know they've, like, alluded to it. Like, they've, like, you know, the writers it's, there's said so that. Mu- but... There's so much in that episode. It's it's Lisa with the reticulated chipmunk thing. Yep. It's Bart with the kid who's like, A I, fell, of paper. <laughs> I fell off the swings and they say I can't read good. <laughs> And the one kid's like, I'm from Canada. I start fires. Yeah. Um, and then, and then there's, there's also the, um, he goes, nice slippers. He goes, you like them? Take them. They're yours. They're yours. You don't like them? Neither do I. Get the hell out of here. You ever seen a man throw a pair of slippers? <laughs> yes, once. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Goes, All right. Well, you got the hammock district. I was just about to make the hammock one. <laughs> I was just about to go there. The fun part of that, about that place is Mary will get in the hammock with you. Yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, that's a really great idea. It's in the hammock district. <laughs> oh, that's such a good. It's such a good episode. Yeah, no, Albert Brooks. I love that one. I loved the. I love the John Waters episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah I like that one. <laughs> zap. The, grimy, the grimy one, I think, was one zap. of those. Zap, <laughs> zap, zap. No, I, the Grimes one, I think, is actually Grimes kind one of, is, the, is pretty stand out. Yeah, yeah, like that. Uh, Monorail. Like the, those are peaks. Episodes. Monorail was always my favorite episode. That's actually that's uh, Conan O'Brien's first episode yeah. that he wrote. Is it? Yeah, yeah. that's right. I, I, yeah. Uh, um, and then another one. I mean, the, sort of, the soft spot for me was uh, was the, the the weed fish one. Obviously, was the great the greatest day of my <laughs> yeah, life. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, by the way, guys, I'm surrounded by fish heads. Right here. <laughs> yeah. Bald bearded. Yeah, fish bald heads. bearded. Uh, you know, yeah, like yeah, Otto like jam is band fans. Otto spelled backwards. <laughs> hey, they just blew my mind. I know they call them fingers, but I never see them fing. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, there they go. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's, and it's when Paige introduces him, he goes, "All right, everyone, this next guy is a real pothead." Wait, I'm sorry, that says pothead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like when Trey is like, uh, "We smell marijuana." Hey, we need to see prescription. Fish does not yeah. play whoa, at a whoa, concert. Whoa. If people are smoking marijuana <laughs> <Yeah>. illegally. <laughs> <laughs> That's the line that Fish draws. Mac, have you ever have you ever been to a fish show? No. Would you like ever? I've sure. been trying for years. I mean, I've been I'm, trying to get him to go for years. I'm, I'm a, I mean, I'm adventurous enough and uh, enough of a yes man to you know, like, yeah, kind of, you know, but. I mean, like, it's, I, you it's know, not your scene. I, I honestly, I, I've tried, I've tried, like, just generally, like, listening to this stuff, and you know, it's tough. I mean, and you could attest to it, uh, Stu, like, and especially with uh, with fish specifically, like, there's no comparison between listening to them and seeing them live. It's it, absolutely it's unfair yeah. to judge them like that so, almost. But well, it, but also at the same point, how do you expose someone to them? It's, it's tough, right? You, you, just you take drag them to, them to you the take concert. Them to a fish concert. Yeah. I, listen, I, I, my brother was very anti-fish for years. I finally got him to a. Con- I mean, he would make fun of us for it, and it, we eventually got him to a New Year's concert, and he. Now they're like his second favorite band. I mean, is it like going to like a WWE show or a hockey game where like you don't normally or like you know someone who's not normally into that, but all of a sudden they go and they like your girlfriend all of a sudden has a really good time, but they yeah. still wouldn't watch it on TV. Like you know? yes, so I have taken I have probably taken like twenty non fish fans to fish shows over the years. Sure, and just been like here's my deal with them. I go like hey do you like weed and they're like yeah I'm like all right well then just come with me to this thing and if, we'll just smoke weed and other stuff might happen while we're there and then an insane rock and roll concert. You know what I mean? And how many of those twenty like walked away saying like oh I had a really good time like, every single one of them how many of them have ever seeked out fish on their own or gone to a show by themselves I don't think any yeah, yeah. but they remember songs and they they, they, they they understand it now see the thing is like I know like you know like an easy it's like uh, the WWE analogy. Yeah, that's yeah. a great analogy like uh, uh, people who haven't seen it before and go and enjoy it they get it, but they're not necessarily ever going to go back on their own. Yeah, exactly. Right. Like, you know, yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, it, okay, okay. Like, uh, you can compare them, I guess, to, like, Grateful Dead to a certain extent, right? Ish. They get really mad. I mean, I get mad. <laughs> I know. I know. Here's the line. Like, here's the, what, the reason why you probably get mad. Fan base-wise. Com- yeah, and uh, that's what I mean. Like, uh, cult- you know, culturally, culturally. Yes, yes. And, yes. They, and they actually do appropriate a lot of dead stuff. I mean, there's actual Shakedown Street is, is the, the fish tour term for, like, the area where yeah. all the kids no, set up. Listen, and that's a dead song. Yeah. Like, that's the thing. Well, that's I was about to say because they are different bands. The, the, um, the Grateful the, Dead actually, I, I, I like some of theirs. The famous, <laughs> the, the famous line Trey says is he goes, I think it's in Bittersweet Motel, and he's like, uh, people always compare us to the Grateful Dead. He's like, we love the Grateful Dead, and they're an influence on us. But so is Pavement, and so is Slayer, and so is <laughs> right. like. 
he's like he says the pave, Beatles pavement is more an influence on fish than the Grateful Dead were. You know what I right. mean? Yeah, no, I, I mean sure. That's what I mean. Like that's uh, that, that's. It's tough. I, I, like I said, like I said, culturally and the, the whole jam band you know, the kind of thing. Sure, like, you know, those like thirty minutes. That was my first getting stone. So that was the first time acid, I yeah. found a subculture was was the mm-hmm. jam band scene. I was just like a kid wearing Abercrombie hats. I think my thing with them it. was that uh, they they were the first band that I would listen to that uh, you know where the members weren't dead already, like <laughs> like yeah, they had, like that were still performing. For, yeah, for yeah. me it was like the Beatles, the Doors, like, but, like that were actually like active. You and, loved like, in excess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know that I really did, but I know, you know, just, I was. But that's another dead guy. I oh, also, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, he died, Hutchins. right? Yes, I, yeah, yeah. yeah. Baby. Wait, wait, Michael Hutchins died. <laughs> Whoa, hold on. Hold I got on. bad news for you, buddy. Also, the guy from Kill Bill. <laughs> oh, Do you want gosh. to take a moment? Okay, next thing you're going to say is like David Bowie died or something like that in Prince. Just like, just give it, you know. Just... You want to feel this? And Lemmy? <laughs> <laughs> well, plus, I was like, I was 15 when, uh, I, I, 15 or 14 when Jerry Garcia died. And in I was, 95. I was getting just to the age where I was going to be able to go to concerts by myself. And I was very excited because my brother was really into the Grateful Dead. And he had gone to many concerts. And I felt completely cheated because that was taken away from me hey are you guys tired always why do you ask me that in the middle of the show am i tired of doing the show yeah uh, because i'm always just exhausted of you guys (laughs) Stu, how are you feeling (laughs) pretty exhausted of you guys too why are you guys so tired all the time are you not sleeping on the right kind of bed I don't know why. Why do you ask? <laughs> well, there's a company called Casper that makes the exact right kind of bed mac and stew. All right. Wow, that's a, that's Casper. That sounds spooky. Like the ghost, exactly. So the little boy ghost started his own mattress company because he lives forever. <laughs> he got bored. <laughs> <laughs> Casper is great, man. They've got three kinds of mattresses: the Casper, the Wave, the Essential. They all breathe. They regulate your body temperature. Basically, you're gonna sleep right. And these geniuses have figured out how to get it in a tiny box that ships free to the U.S. and Canada. Uh, so yeah, anything else we should know about it? <laughs> yeah, dude. And you can get the mattress sent right to your house in that tiny box. And guess what? You have a hundred nights risk-free to sleep on it. I, I think everyone's looking for a hundred risk-free nights, <laughs> and just in general. So yeah, if if, if Ca- if Casper whether can that, provide that, I'm, yeah, you know, whether that be with a mattress or not. And guys, we spend a third of our lives sleeping, so be comfortable, you you jerks. You can go to Casper.com slash bunny, B-U-N-N-Y at checkout, and you can get $50 towards a select matrix. That's right. Casper.com slash bunny. Use the code bunny at checkout. Get 50 bucks towards your mattress. So yeah, buy a mattress, kids. Go to Casper, buy a mattress, support a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but it's we haven't talked about music a lot on this podcast yet either, which is funny because like you're you are so into music, right? Um, yeah, I mean, I use my earballs to uh, yeah, you're also to, a, to imbibe some tunes, a, right? A, a wonderful right DJ bow, right here. Yeah. Actually, that's that's that, that's bump. funny because I've said you were the one who introduced me to the Beatles. Yeah, the Beatles. Is that true? Yeah, it is true. I like I. I mean, you know, obviously, I think all of us know the Beatles, like, even if we don't know that we know it. I sang a lot of their songs when I was, like, yeah. you know, six, seven, eight years old, but I didn't know that it was the Beatles. And I I remember you introduced me to the, um, it wasn't the White Album, it was the, the anthologies. Yeah, when, yeah those, the when, apple, when those were airing. The, yeah. uh, the, um, the, where they all had the apples on them? Yeah. So those that was my first exposure to the Beatles, too. It was They were the blue and red there was CDs. A lot of, there was a lot yeah. of, like, a, like just demos. And they were releasing all the albums. Yes, and, it was mm-hmm. unheard stuff. I, 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 I love the Beatles, but, like, I go... <laughs> I, I love the Beatles until I was, like, I listening to them when I was it. sick. Yeah. And my mother came in, and she started singing along with them. And I was like, oh, my God, you're, you're ruining this for me. You're ruining everything I like about this. Mom, you're embarrassing me. I went on it. I went on it. She was like, oh, I thought Paul was so cute. I was like, oh, you are killing me. I went on a deep dive the other day with uh, Paul's dead Love stuff, you, Mom. guys. Have you ever gotten into that whole thing? No, I don't. I mean, the the, oh, the whole Paul is dead thing? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, the specifics of it. If you're a, if you're a yeah, Beatles yeah. fan, like, you know, yeah, yeah. Um, and I'll that was actually one of those things. Actually, I was disappointed in the anthology. I thought they were gonna like like go there and explore that. Feel that did, Paul. Did, was well, I'm just saying, at least explore it, like or at least. And they never even like mentioned it, brought it up, like you know. And I was like, ah, oh, come on, guys. You know what's funny? Someone actually asked it's like this, nine parts. Someone <laughs> someone asked this last week, and we didn't get a chance to, but to talk about it. But now I'm gonna be a good time. So, Pizza Underground. The question was, when did you Mac first get into Lou Reed and Velvet Underground, and like why them of any band to to do a pizza cover band. <laughs> 
on the planet. Why the Velvet Underground, who are like I think an incredibly respected band, but it's one of those where like I didn't know Very that I, I didn't know that all of the songs I knew were Velvet Underground songs. Yep. Yeah, yep. yeah. You know what I mean? Um, well, here's the thing about the 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 Pizza Underground thing is that the Velvet Underground. Uh, um, yeah, you know, our our true philosophy was that those those Velvet Underground songs were actually about pizza, but it was like a little ahead of their time. They had to so we them. so we we were kind of releasing kind of the original intent of the artists. <laughs> Uh, so that, that was, was very that. kind of you. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Like, yeah, you're welcome. We were under the Reed Estate appreciates. <laughs> <Yeah. it. laughs> um, and uh, actually, I was really late to the Velvet Underground party. It wasn't until I was about like 28, 29. I got, really? And I actually got like, like as I, I got gifted the one, the banana, you know, the, yeah, the self titled uh, kind of thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, um, like, like probably 20 times in my life, you know. And I find actually my gateway Velvet Underground was uh, one of their live albums, funny enough. Uh, and look, yeah, kind of just uh, was it, uh, uh, Lisa says that was my gateway song, even. Uh, and then yeah, kind of went through their catalog. What's the and, Pete's underground version of Lisa says? Uh, well, actually, we actually never did it, sadly. But I wanted to do it because it, it pizza itself. says pizza says. Like, yeah, obviously. we already kind of had a pizza says. So, you know, so whatever. Like, uh, you know, the, the best part about underground was like, well, actually would have been funny if actually we had two songs called Pizza Says. <laughs> my favorite part about you guys is like when I would think of a Velvet Underground song and I and I guess what the lyrics were and you'd be like, yeah, of course that's like course. It, it was the easiest <laughs> band in the world. No, Once exactly. you got the concept, like <laughs> it was the same joke over and over and over again. <laughs> yeah. like, I mean, that was the thing. You know, it was you know, it was it was funny, and then became not funny, and then it, like circled around, became funny again. Like, <laughs> it's, like it's, Peter, it, Peter Griffin with the knee, like or, uh, I, no, or sideshow, sideshow Bob uh, with the rake. No, yes, I was. Yes. God, both of you are wrong. I was going to say that the the episode of South Park that we were talking about, where <laughs> where where chefs like that's not funny anymore, and then they do it again. He's like, now and now it's, it's funny, funny again. again. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, <laughs> Simpsons did it. Actually, to be honest, I was actually the last one to join the band. They'd already kind of. It was like a drunken stoner idea that they'd like been kicking around or whatever. They had about like a couple like f- like five eight minutes worth of like m- like material. I mean, because the thing is, we wouldn't even do full songs. It, like uh, at least it, early on, it was just like you know, here's a verse, here's a chorus, and then boom, it was all medley. medleys. Exactly. So here's a new thing, folks, and I want you guys uh, listening. We don't have a name for them yet. So do you have any suggestions for what the fan base should be called? Oh yeah, cause what, anything rabbit related or I said turtle a, related? A warren isn't that what a group of like where rabbits live? Don't they live in warrens? Wow, you really didn't prepare me for that question. I know a lot about idea. animals. <laughs> well, I mean, I have a, I have a, I have a computer. Um, here. Let me a like, murder, honey. Should we a call them murderers? Of crows is called a <laughs> <them> murder. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that was is that the weed that, that is the weed episode where they that peck, is the they weed peck his eyeballs out <laughs> because he's hoarding sugar in his is that is it no that's the bees that's the bees no no the, the I can't that's remember. the bees that sting oh, his eyes and no, he gets no, no. glaucoma the, the the no it's not the bees that sting his eyes it's it's the crows do peck out his oh, okay. eyes but originally it was because uh, he like destroyed a scarecrow thinking that it was like a bad guy and the crows then respected him because they defeated oh, yeah. he, <laughs> he defeated, defeated their, their enemy. enemy. <laughs> Um, so regardless, uh, we yeah, it is a Warren. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh the stuff I know. Hey that, hey, that was the first time that ever helped Nailed me out. <laughs> well, so let's call them the Warren. So, so Warren, we'll refer to them as Warren in the singular. Like they're all named Warren. Yeah, yeah, yeah. what's up? I was just supposed to say it sounds weird, but it we'll sounds together, Bella Warren. You guys fantastically equal weird. Warren. Yeah, it worked for the show. Um, and I forget what I was going to ask Warren. Oh, here's a new game. So, uh. Pizza Underground worked out. Send what are the other suggestion for some food themed cover bands Matt could have started? I, I have so many. Tweet us at uh, Bunny Ears Pod or uh, email us at Bunny Ears Pod at Gmail. Here's my first suggestion: TLC, T E A L C. Oh, I would have gone B L T, but yeah. <laughs> I think TLC kind of writes itself, oh, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. No, I okay. We have the uh, the Eatles, but uh, they're just Beatles songs without the B. You know. And just about eating in general. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get act, get act, get act to where you once elong. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, it's literally just with that. <laughs> uh, uh, and if like, you want to do food related, I mean, there's easy ones like the Rolling Scones, uh, Soy Division, Elvis Parsley. Uh, uh, no, believe me, I, 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 I professionally did this, bro. <laughs> I, 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 it's a deep well. I feel like it would be very difficult to go through Elvis Presley's catalog and, and just make herbs. it all about parsley. <laughs> oh, no, it's great. Herbs oh, in okay. general. oh, herbs in general. Yeah, yeah, all right. so, yeah you do that. You know, yeah. <laughs> Do you have uh, any? Uh, so what's what's what is an Elvis Presley herb song? Oh gosh, I I, uh, I I only wrote out some of these. I mean, gosh, I'm only I'm only one man. <laughs> I I've, I had the uh, B69s, their B52 songs about sex, 
Okay. It's fantastic. Hey, aren't they already about sex? I know. Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 no, they're about like sea creatures and like weird Yeah, adventures. exactly. Yeah. Umbrellas, you know, yeah. Uh, 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 should we? So, uh, uh, I believe this. Oh, I don't know. Piggy Pop. Piggy Pop. There I don't know who started this game, <laughs> but this this might be fun on the podcast. Uh, a, a buddy of mine, Matt Bennett, introduced me to it. So the game is called Hey Fred Schneider. I, you played it in Thailand. Oh, you told me about this. So here's how you play Hey Fred Schneider. And we, maybe we play one round and we'll, we'll let the audience decide if they want to hear it again. But, uh, <laughs> The game, if you're not familiar with Fred Schneider, he was the lead singer of the B-52s. And he had a very specific voice and way of singing. And which, also, is, which is sad because, like, no one can do it. Like, can, like it, <laughs> everyone, everyone, everyone can do it, but it's, like, it's, like, cause, like he, it's so Fred Schneider. That, right. Like, you know, like you, everyone's just going to be a poser. If they, you know, like, I'm like, hey, Fred, you know. So uh, the idea uh, of the game uh, like, is you sit in a circle and everyone goes, hey, Fred Schneider, what are you doing? And then you have to improv something in the following bar. You would go, like, um... I'm I hang- like zebras, you know. Uh, I'm hanging out a chessboard. I'm hanging out in Europe, <laughs> looking at a porpoise. Hey, Fred Schneider, what are you doing? I'm hanging with my boys and doing a podcast. Hey, Fred Schneider, what are you doing? Uh, there's a chicken on the roof, and I'm having sex with it. <laughs> See, that's what we got, guys. That's the kind of stuff we're working with. So, if you want to hear more Hey, Fred Schneider, if you want to hey, challenge us to a Hey, Fred Schneider, yeah, we should totally dig it. <laughs> we send, have to. We have to come back here for sure. Are send us your best Hey Fred Schneider video. I think I think it was like instead of surprise rocket skates, it'd be like surprise. You, hey Fred Schneider, what do you do? And here's how it culminates, guys. We get Fred Schneider on the podcast to do it with us, and then we all commit ritualistic uh, suicide. <laughs> yeah, exactly. it's like, there's nothing better than seppuku. <laughs> we'll have reached our apex. I'm, uh, I'm not going to be able to be in that day. So <laughs> yeah, for some it. reason, I'm I'm busy that, on that arbitrary day. Something suddenly came up. <laughs> you guys go ahead and. Commit ritualistic suicide, and I'll, I'm, I'm, I'll be right with you. I'm actually going to be in an R.E.M. concert. So, Matt, do, you, do you play any instruments? Uh, not really. I mean, I, I, I mess around, and I have a good amount of instruments in the house. Funny enough, I'm honestly I'm one of the world's foremost kazoo players. Um, All right, yeah, yeah, I'd uh, buy that. You're also a great DJ. Yes, I, I, I know, I, and I know my way around certain kind of like, you I know, feel like things. I know you, my way around. I feel like the DJ thing is being forced upon you a bit lately, but you're embracing it. Like you've been, D- you DJed a wedding. Yeah. And not like strangers. They didn't Surprise, like hire, hire you to DJ their wedding, which would be awesome if you had a side business this whole time no one knew I, about. Honestly, there was one thing with the Pizza Underground that we never did that I wanted to do. I wanted to play bar mitzvah in a wedding. <laughs> oh, you're like, that would have been not like, too amazing. late, guys. If anyone's listening, I they got know, a 12, right? 12 and a half year old Jew. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, g- 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 give me a buzz. <laughs> give me a buzz. <laughs> I'll DJ your bar mitzvah. I'm DJing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm playing music for Jared Rosenberg. <laughs> exactly. It's his big day. He's a man now. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It was way too much fun. <laughs> uh, uh, um, He's a good guy. But um, uh, yeah, the, the, that whole wedding. Like, yeah, yeah like, I, I, used to, well, I told you, I used to have a DJing kind of thing at uh, uh, La Poste en Rouge, LPR, sure. in New York. That's, was, that is called... where the uh, Cruel Intentions musical is. I saw it on a poster yes. yesterday. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. wow. It's at La Poste yeah. en Rouge. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah. There you go. Um, For all you um, listeners who are into Cruel Intentions, yeah, they, and they well, they've Drag Queen Bingo too. Like so, like, I've yeah. done that in L.A. at Hamburger Mary's, which is super fucking fun. Yeah, yeah, no, it's 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 fun there. Like, yeah, no, I, I don't mind plugging. Those drag LPR, queens are sassy. Know? What was? Oh, do you guys remember Lucky Chang's? <sighs> do you ever go in there? Lucky Chang's was a drag bar in the East Village that was like super fucking popular in the this early, because you're itching early my brain. 2000s, yeah. and it was like so crazy hard to get into, and also really, really, really fun. It's I can't believe we never went to that drag bar. It was yeah, the most popular drag yeah, bar. Yeah, I mean, all the drag bars, all the other ones to. too. Like, I, I swear, <laughs> yeah. like gosh, I don't know. You know, we we we, we stood outside for about five hours once in the cold, and they, they just wouldn't let us in. Like you know, um, it was our shoes. Did you guys shoes. see a lot of music growing up in the city? Like a lot of live music and stuff. I mean, I did, a, like, you know, in my uh, early 20s, uh, you know, I, I, I wasn't a scene star, but at the same time, I, I, I saw, like, the Strokes, like, more times than I can count, the White Stripes, and, like, like things before like that. they were big or whatever? Uh, it, was, it was really, it was early the on. The one I have with that Didn't is... take uh, me to a Queen V concert that, for wow, some reason... Queen V, just haven't heard that name in a what while. What is Queen V? Yeah, she was just, like, doing some, like, you know, she was a, a lady who sang in New York City. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And she and she did a concert that one time. That's, that I brought Stu to it. Full story, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, cool. Now, 
nailed it. Nailed it. Yeah, cool story, story Ansel. Ansel. Thanks, Olaf. <laughs> you guys are the only ones I know that do the thanks, Olaf. <laughs> yeah. Like, I know a lot of people that do the cool story, Hansel. I've never heard anyone tag it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should just keep, you should learn the rest of the dialogue in that film. So anytime someone does it, you go, cool story, Hansel, and you go, thanks, Thank Olaf. God. And then you it's run. You just keep going. All of the <laughs> just lines just as keep long going. As you like, can. It's like we memorized like a you know, quarter of Zoolander. <laughs> <Yeah>. like, <laughs> well, we went to the, uh, we went to that REM concert once. Uh, was that was it was that MSG or yeah. okay yeah there yeah. you go I saw uh, Modest Mouse open for them uh, in uh, uh, LA and I was actually like I was uh, I was more jazzed about the opener not that I don't love <laughs> REM don't get me wrong <laughs> yeah, yeah, and also yeah. and it's also he would forget uh, uh, Michael Stipe would forget the words to uh, the end of the world as you know it kind of thing sure. and, but I think understandable it, who wouldn't? <laughs> yeah. but no no but it happened like every time and it actually kind of seemed like it was a bit. Oh, okay. Because the idea is okay. that he'd get an audience member to help him, like, kind of thing. Uh, and, like, it, yeah. it was like, yeah, this, I mean, it was kind of a bit, I thought it was cute and stuff like yeah. that, you know, but at the same time, like, uh, hey, we're going to need some help playing this song we've been playing for <laughs> yeah, 30 yeah. years. <laughs> hey, we also happen you? to have an extra guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone remember R.E.M.? Um, um, my, my music, like, I, I wish I had cooler. So I wanted to go to No Doubt for my first concert ever, right, at Jones Beach. But okay. my mom, for so some what reason, was your actual one? Yeah. <laughs> the Marshall Tucker Band. Wow. Do you know what that is? Uh, no, I mean, is it, is it Jesus Rock? No, no. <laughs> for they, the Jewish kid. <laughs> they had a hit called "Can't You See" in like the seventies. They were like an Almond Brothers type, like Southern yeah. rock jam band. And yeah, I, I saw them song. in Southampton. You can't you see what can't, that what that woman she's been doing, doing to me? me. Yeah. So that was Ooh, my yeah, first. Okay. In retrospect. Not a bad first concert. No. At the time when all I wanted was like no so doubt and Don Green McClain Day, concert. I wanted to, I hated my fucking, it was my 13th birthday, we stayed at uh, Gurney's in Montauk, uh, that little hotel on the beach. So was your bar mitzvah? Yeah, basically. <laughs> um, and they were like, we have a surprise for you, we're taking you to a concert. And then we got there and it was all like people in their 60s and a band <laughs> I'd never heard of. And then at one point a guy was playing the pan flute and I was like, what the fuck is happening right now? <laughs> <laughs> yes. um, what if I got myself into? What was your first concert? Yeah, that's a good question. My, my first concert was actually R.E.M. Uh, eighth grade went with Lisa Benson. It's pronounced Rem, by the way. It's Rem. Yeah, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I don't want you to embarrass yourself. And Luscious Jack was open. Ooh, oh, neato. Wow. Yeah, yeah, there you yeah. go. There you go. That's, 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 yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a deep cut. Slice of life. You know, yeah. <laughs> what was your first concert, Mac? Uh, I went to a Bob Dylan concert at the, the Beacon Theater, and uh, oh, gosh, who was opening? It was, uh, uh, I don't know, just. I remember it was Mount. I actually probably have the tickets. Like you know, like, like uh, <laughs> it's right here. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, no, actually, because I, I wasn't. I was a Dylan fan. Like I was, still, you know, Beatles, Dylan. I was going through that kind of thing. Uh, you know, but uh, um, yeah, actually, I, wa- I kind of was very specifically like wanted to make sure I had I could answer this question in you know, like, <laughs> in twenty like, years. <laughs> honestly, I, like I really was. I was like, I want to be able to say like, so yeah, you had that story it, now. Essentially, yeah, yeah. That, that I could just like, well, I, my first the, concert was a Dylan one concert. One day, I'm going to be podcasting. <laughs> Wearing bunny ears. And, yeah. Oh yeah, no, I'm, I'm, make, cool. I'm making my mom proud right now. Is pretty much what I'm trying to say. Um, <laughs> no, and then like, and then it was just jam bands forever for me. Like I've seen Fish, I think, 114 times at this point. I've seen like String Cheese Incident. Jesus, like, you loser. 50 <laughs> times, exactly. And like, I just I've, I've only gone like 83 times. <laughs> so much so that like, I think three years ago, about 40, but like, yeah. like three years ago, I called up a buddy and I was like, Hey, have you heard of this band Arcade Fire? And he's like, Yeah. They won a Grammy for Best Album of the Year like four years ago. Yeah, he's like, he's like you're only 12 years late to that party. And I was like, oh, man, I've been deep in the fish trenches for a long time, I guess. I actually, I had a very similar experience. I was at a bachelor party in Vegas, and the song <laughs> Sunglasses at Night comes on. You don't know what that is. And Corey, I was Corey like, Hart, Corey I, Hart. I was like, oh, my gosh, this song is freaking great. How have I not heard this before? And then, like, maybe two weeks later, I hear the same song while I'm at an 80s night. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Like, like, no, that's yeah. what I mean. Like, wow. <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, it's like 83. Yeah. That's what I mean. Right away, I was like, Corey Hart. I know that one. <laughs> um, I got into, uh, in recent years, my musical tastes have diverged a little bit. Like, I, uh, I got really into Gogol Bordello. I don't know if you're familiar with them. Mm, uh, Did you ever see the movie, uh, Elijah Wood movie, Everything is Eventual? Yeah. The Lev no. Schreiber one about the Elijah Wood. Who's, Eli- who's Elijah Wood? No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> Elijah Wood goes to the Ukraine to trace his like. Elijah Holocaust. Wood is the most famous child actor there is. <laughs> I got. It. I don't know. I, I don't know how I. Like, wow. Isn't he the kid yeah. from uh, uh, Richie Rich? Page Master. Yeah, yeah Page, Richie Rich. Richie Page Master. Yes, I always I always go to the Page Master. <laughs> you were in Lord of the Rings, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I see the tattoo, man. You got I, the same one as Billy Boyd. I'm just assuming. I, I, I know. I know. It's just spoon shaped. <laughs> bro, bro, <laughs> the same tattoo. one except. <laughs> Isn't that the Lord? Didn't they all get spoons on the cast? 
Last of Lord of the Rings. Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, but but um, I got Google Bordello, uh, Flaming Lips. I've now seen like a lot of times in like a few different countries. Even. I, the only time I've seen the Flaming Lips is when they were playing with Miley Cyrus. Oh, at the at the upfront thing. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a whole the, story that I'm not going to tell. That was about a weird. That. That's <laughs> a weird <laughs> Every episode, there's a story that we're hey, not going right. to tell. I know that story. <laughs> yeah, I know you do. I'm sure <laughs> it's, it's a good story. And you know what, got kids, you're not going to hear yep, it. That's the one from <laughs> this week. Yeah. Every, every week, there's one interesting story we're not going to tell. That's you. it. Uh, <laughs> Something happened at Miley Cyrus Flaming Lips show with Macaulay Culkin that you'll never know about. You'll never know. (laughs) Fuck you! (laughs) Deal with that in your realities, you lucky fucking shows and shows. Oh, you you Warrens. (laughs) Warren, Warren. Yeah, no S. No, no, no. Individually, they're a Warren, so collectively, they can be Warrens. Fair enough. Also, also, I'm, I think I'll, we're switching uh, it. I'm, I'm only, I'm only talking to the people uh, who are named Warren out there. <laughs> that's, that's Guys, if you are, you. if you are Warren Cash, Warren, if you are a member of the Warren, and your name is actually Beatty. Warren. Let us know. Yeah. That, yeah, fuck you, Warren Beatty. Yeah, <laughs> microphone drop. I'm out of here. Do you yeah. think he's listening? <laughs> of course he's listening. What else did, is he, did he doing? Ask, did he ask about me? Fucking <laughs> loving Annette Bennett and just treating her right and <laughs> respectfully. Yeah, respectfully. Yeah, respectfully have, though, yeah, with yeah. consent. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah, yeah, and having Carly Simon be angry at him. <laughs> it was him, right? Yeah, I think, no. I think she. I thought it was. Wait. Wait. Whoa! I missed this. What happened? You're so vain. Dude, you don't know no, that Carly Car- that Carly Simon killed Warren Beatty. You don't know this story. What the hell happened? Yeah, yeah. I ate him. <laughs> yeah, like but no, it was, him like a horse. Like but a pony, they allowed they allowed it because he consen- he consented to it. Like that Japanese man. Oh, fair who, enough. Do you guys know about that Japanese yeah, cannibal guy? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, Max yeah. all over that. You don't know? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, Japanese, I'm drinking off right now. Japanese dude had a dream of eating a person his whole life. He went on a like deep web website, found a German woman who and the name of it was like really like yeah, like, it was yeah. like Cannibal Backyard, CannibalBarbecue.com or something. There you go. That sounds just, about right. Uh, and this German woman who was suicidal and wanted to die was like, "I'm willing to." Uh, yeah, you can sell my body to kill science. Me, kill, 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 <laughs> me, kill me and eat me. So he did, and then he went to jail for like five years, maybe because like. She consented to it. It wasn't technically first degree murder. And, and I think like that accessory to suicide. I was just about to say. I think which she committed suicide? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. But I, I would think being I suicidal she changes the like meat. Veal. <laughs> you think the stress changes the meat? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> this meat <laughs> tasted no, sad. Do you think that, or do you know that? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that that's how yeah, it goes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Actually, I, I, I read an article, and apparently, like, yeah, from cannibals, and like, apparently, we taste like veal. That's I thought, like, I thought yeah. chicken. Oh well, no! Everything tastes like chicken. Everything tastes Actually, like there's chicken. also that 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 uh, 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 that idea that chicken is the taste of something that like you just like don't know what it is kind of thing. You, that's why everything so th- that your brain actually just triggers into like thinking think like it's like that's what chicken chicken tastes. is that's, our our resting that, taste that bitch that, taste yeah that that's what nothing tastes like our nothing rest, tastes our like resting chicken. Resting bitch <laughs> taste is chicken, you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing, nothing, nothing tastes like chicken, and you know because everything tastes like chicken. <laughs> I don't think I'd eat a person. I'm just gonna say it. Um, I'm, I'm gonna pause there. I'm, I'm You're not gonna, sure. I mean, I mean, if it's presenting, I would not eat any of the awful. Like, well, I if it's eat, presenting, like, I okay. Liver. Here's a hypothetical <laughs> situation, guys. In this hypothetical situation, you are legally and morally allowed to eat like person cooked by like fucking. The, per- uh, the person uh, begged you to eat them, but it's also cooked by like fucking uh, the, the, uh, Thomas Keller, like the guy who owns the fucking Tom- <laughs> Thomas Thunder Keller. Yeah. Is that really what it is? <laughs> no, I, oh, okay. I, I always call him Thunder though. <laughs> like I, I've met him once. And I'm like, really? Hey, what's up, Thunder? And he's kind of like, "You're Thomas Thunder Keller." Like, the Tom-, and he was like, "Just because he's very mild mannered." Yeah, and he was kind of he's just like, like a quiet chef, which is hilarious because Thunder it's a loud <laughs> thing, and kind of just like, and he just like he did. He, I think he thought it, he, he found it he pretty dug charming. It. And he's like, "Yeah," so it's like, "You mean the Thomas Thunder Keller?" All right, we're doing another one. <laughs> Guys, let's Thomas get, let's, Thunder let's, Keller. Let's get Thomas let's Thunder get Keller here. here. <laughs> Invite us to a lunch at, at the fucking and, laundry or whatever, and, and I will uh, and I will cook you some soup. <laughs> yeah, we'll spread the love. Yeah, exactly. That, we have that open. That's an open offer to any celebrity chef. If they want to come and cook for us, we will also cook for oh you. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Fine. fine. Are you in on this? <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely in on this. I'm definitely in on having some famous chef come and cook for us. Hope you like those he, he has to do it with a microphone in his hand and talk to us the entire time. <laughs> it's like a Top Chef challenge. <laughs> One-handed just chefs. A, just a sizzling <laughs> sound the whole time in the background. <laughs> <laughs> just the sound of a man cutting himself a lot because <laughs> he's one-handed trying to like slice. Trying to steak. slice. <laughs> yeah. Beef. It's for the podcast, you pussy. <laughs> Get to work. Also, he has to wear bunny ears. That. 
right at the same time when he leans down. Yeah, mm-hmm. we're building a whole scenario. We're gonna kill celebrities. <laughs> I know. Chefs. Where where were we? <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> Thomas Thunder Keller. Thomas Thunder. Oh, Keller. cooking cooking people. Cooking yeah, there we go. Was. Eating. So that's people. what it is. Damn Thomas, it, I almost got out of that. Thomas, one. thank you, buddy. That was good. You got us back on. Did that. Hey, yeah. I'm the I'm the one who's had a yeah, shot holy or two. Shit. B twelve guys, obviously. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's allergy season. Oh yeah. No, I I wouldn't I wouldn't touch. You wouldn't. I I wouldn't dare. I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't have a five-hour energy. Um, you guys are crazy. Thomas Keller is cooking you a human in a moral, legal environment. Do you eat it? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yes. I think probably, right? Yeah. yeah. At, at the very least, curiosity. Thing. Yes. It, first of all, curiosity. Second of all, my parents told me to try everything at least once. So oddly and enough, all, I, I, Hannibal Lecter was I, like, yeah, awesome. I tried, uh, horse, I I tried horse meat <laughs> when I was in France. Yeah, okay. You know, uh, horse meat is a, yeah. That that's... wasn't great. But I tried it. I was like, look, they're offering It was majestic. Meat. Yeah, that, you know, it's funny. I because hate biscuit. <laughs> it's funny because I, I actually just admitted to saying that I would eat people. But you won't eat a horse. You wouldn't eat a horse. I, I would never a eat dog. a dog. Do I a horse? Oh, no, no. A dog? No, of like, course not. That would yeah, be yeah. so oh, messy. No, no. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. You know what? Honestly, I don't think I would eat dogs. You guys, I, I could eat kill a person before I could kill a dog. No, I don't eating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave the dogs alone. I couldn't eat a cat either. But that being said, weirdly, so I ate horse. And then when I was I wouldn't eat a cat because I think it would Kill your dog. I, <laughs> thank you. I found I found my limit, and it was uh, when I was in Japan. There was whale meat on the menu. Ooh, and okay, I was yeah. like, uh. like I'm here, and it's a thing, and people eat it, and it's legal, and it's a part of the culture, and it's an experience. Honestly, thing. I'm a jerk. I totally eat it. I would. I, I had would. I had a weird because only because of you know what I mean. They're so smart, but at the same time, pigs are smart, and I eat fucking pig. So like, oak <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Pigs are filthy. Oak, oak jaw worked on me for a day. <laughs> yeah, dogs are smart, and I kill your dog. You know, so <laughs> no, but I, I, my dog would kill you, dude. <laughs> Sewer rat uh, may taste like uh, pumpkin pie, uh, but I wouldn't know because I'd never eat the filthy uh, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I eat the asshole. I eat the whole damn thing. I eat the whole thing. Pork chops uh, taste good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you dig it the most. <laughs> uh, I would, I would try it. I would feel guilty about trying it, but I would try it. And I mean, unless it was like you know, complete foie gras, you know, like just something that was like just like rich and delicious, and like, and, like I'd totally freaking dig it. Uh, so this, I probably wouldn't do it. This again. might make me. I, I'd probably try to share it with some people. This might make me. <laughs> so it's not just me. <laughs> Take yourself hey, off hey, the hey, moral. Hey, all right, guys. All right, <laughs> all right, all right, lady. Close your eyes and open your mouth. You know that old game we play. Like, <laughs> by the way, you some whale. By the way, you already ate whale. Like that was like one time in high school. <laughs> you we put, already we ate put whale. bacon on a kosher kid's burger. <laughs> like shoved it in the meat. <laughs> You're the worst. And then we told him after, and like we thought he'd laugh. He started crying hysterically, and he, we were like, "Oh no, he's got to hate you." Just got him a one way. Take it to hell. <laughs> and four, yeah, then he started puffing up, and four hours later, he died. <laughs> yeah. He didn't have his EpiPen with him. <laughs> Good oh job, boy. guys. Yeah, we did it. Funny joke. Funny yeah, joke. Yeah. Hell, oh, yeah, great, great. You just, you just condemned him to hell. That's great. Yeah, that's... <laughs> he wasn't kosher. He was severely yeah, yeah, yeah. allergic. Yeah, yeah. Condemned him to hell and killed him at the same time. <laughs> You're, wel- you're, you're welcome, boss. <laughs> While I look down at the microphone ground. drop, I'm yeah. out of here. <laughs> you, you totally, you showed him. What's the weirdest thing you guys have ever eaten? Well, we'll wrap up soon. But uh, how much dick have you eaten, dude? Is that weird? <sighs> That's, Come that's, on, that's, that's like asking me how many times we've beat Toe Jam and Earl. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> exactly. Like, like yeah. how many times have you done them simultaneously? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, gosh, good question. Wow, <laughs> that's that's only if I lose before Mac. Gets to <laughs> <laughs> that's the real surprise, R- Rocket yeah. Skater. Well, yeah, that's, yeah, exactly. what, that's one of our surprise. other mini games. <laughs> surprise, dick sucking. <laughs> I think the weirdest thing I've ever eaten, uh, I was in Korea and ate something called cable, and it's actually still alive when you put it into your mouth. What is it? I, it's, it's, a, it's, it's something a, it's a, it's an you message. don't know. <laughs> I don't know is the, the, the answer. Everybody who's out is there, it, all of our is Warren, it fish? Is it... look up cable. It's something like that that's on the bottom of the sea, and it's like it was still slithering like around kind of while mollusk? I ate it. kind of mollusk, or is it like, yeah, like, like a sea like, cucumber? or it, it, I, I don't know. I honestly don't know how to categorize what about, it. What about you, bud? <laughs> I am. I, I'm wrecking my brain right now because I mean, honestly, I have a really broad palate. Yeah, I like vert- game. I've had a lot of like. Yeah, I'll do, I've done the venison, elk, bison. Yeah, dude, I, 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 that's I, the I, weirdest I, thing you've ever eaten. I have a, I have a dude, freezer get full of out elk there. right now. <laughs> 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 I have a freezer full of elk right now. Yeah, yeah. I've eaten like what are we doing? Chrysalis. Have you really? Oh yeah. yeah. Why, why are we eating elk at this very moment? <laughs> yeah, I've never done bugs. 
No, uh, it's it, I've, they're I've disgusting. Done, I've, done, I've done like a crickety kind of thing. Well, you know, it doesn't really taste like because it's it was like a deep fried thing, so it pretty much just tasted like the flaky deep fried stuff. You know I, what I mean? The like, problem yeah. that I had it was, like, was, it's, I was the, it's the tofu of the insect world. I was getting <laughs> drunk that night, so when I woke up the next morning feeling hungover and then belched some of what I had in my stomach, still I still got all of those bugs <laughs> coming <laughs> out. Guys, back up. <laughs> cricket is the Devon Sawa of the insect world. <laughs> yeah, the, also, <laughs> we're calling one more Devon Sawa. Get your ass on this <laughs> podcast. I know. I know. I know we're we're, we're, uh, we're uh, really digging a hole with ourselves. I've not heard the word Devin Sawa so much in my life. We're as starting, I, like, a, we're starting we're an internet beef feud between Macaulay Culkin and Devin Sawa. <laughs> nice. Hey, guess what? My you money, want some of this? You my want money's this? on Mac. <laughs> <laughs> I fight dirty. Yeah. No, I'm, I, You're going I got to go Sawa on this one. Really? Yeah, I've seen him fight. Oh, okay. Have you? No, 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 I've seen Mac fight, I mean. Oh, no. <laughs> so I always got this. <laughs> oh, wow. Jeez. <laughs> okay. In fact, you know what I'm going to say? Finally, your eyes on this. What, <laughs> what, if, what if it's a lumberjack match, and around the ring, you have Andrew Keegan? Wow. Uh, Keegan. Oh, Jesus oh, Christ. Uh, Devin saw Jonathan today? Jonathan Taylor Thomas. <laughs> yeah. No. Mac gets to fight 12-year-old oh, Devin, Devin Sawa. Sawa. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll, you know. Circa what, little some giants. <laughs> We can we can work on this technology, guys. We should invent cool. time travel yeah, 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 yeah. so yes. Matt can go back to the set of Little Giants and beat the shit out of Devin Sawa. <laughs> because Little Giants. Jesus just Christ. emasculate that 12-year-old I, boy. I, I, oh, no, just go back to uh, the, uh, the, the the end of Casper. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's what just all like the, the second to last scene in Casper. You're only it. choosing that because he only was able to live for one day. Exactly. That was the first movie yeah, that made me down. cry. That was the first all movie that made me cry in a movie theater. God, and it was at the so end pathetic. when... <laughs> wow. He got what was Little Giants? You cried at Little Giants? No, Casper. No, okay, I'm <laughs> he, he got to meet his dead wife. Remember Dan Aykroyd? He was in that movie. He dresses a Ghostbuster coming oh down the my stairs. God. He's, got he, the he, he's got a mustache. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> he does have a mustache. <laughs> I know it's really weird. You guys, I met I met Dan Aykroyd's daughter recently. You know what her name is? Dan Danielle Aykroyd. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I nailed it. Yeah, <laughs> that was just a guess. Um, I'm really and, good at that game. And uh, <laughs> I was like, "What's up with the alien stuff?" And she's like, "Oh, wait for me." And I'm like, "Okay." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I want to know about that shit, man. We could probably get Dan Aykroyd on this podcast if we promise to not talk about movies and only talk about his theories of like ancient aliens oh, and be great. reptilian shit. That'd be and sweet. And he's like so into that. I've heard him on like it's the go coast on to thing. coast FM, which is like. Paranormal he goes there. No, he's, he was, he's been into it for a long time. I mean, that's where uh, that was the impetus of uh, Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters itself. The okay, original, yeah, yeah. the first draft of Ghostbusters is apparently like metaphysical nonsense. Are, <laughs> yeah, we, yeah. are we not going to discuss his great movie, My Stepmother Is an Alien? Ooh, with I Kim mean, Basinger? Nah, and, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we're not going and, to. Okay. <laughs> and Seth Green. I believe. That, oh, was what, Seth Green? Isn't Seth in My Stepmother is an Alien? I, you know, I, 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 I don't, I, so. I don't know that one. I, you know, and uh, I think I'm, I think I'm, I don't know. Am I you're good? out of the you're allowed to not know. <laughs> I think you're. Uh, I think you're okay. He also yeah, has yeah. that you know that skull vodka bottle. Yeah, yes. that's him. Crystal that's skull. Him. Yeah, because it's based on like the fucking legend of the crystal skulls, which was the alien thing, and like you know, I, I honestly, yeah, I would. I I've would never love to seen have a movie. Him, about I, I would that. love to have him on and just I keep wish on. I never saw a movie. About <laughs> Here, how, about, how about this? Uh, 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 we will have him on, and the only thing we're allowed to say to him is go on. <laughs> yeah, Seth Green, Seth Green is Allison Hannigan's love interest in My Stepmother is an Alien. Oh, there you go. There See, you it, go. All, it all goes another, back. Another, it all another Hall, back Allison Hannigan. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Think of a jiggy. Those gingers, they stick together. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, what are your parting thoughts this week? Um, We're three weeks in. Stu, what do you think of the podcast? Are you, are you, are you a member of the Warren yourself? Have I, you listened to any of them? <laughs> I, I, I have heard that apparently I'm running against Barack Obama and you voted for me. Thanks, bro. Yeah, sure. That's yeah, awesome. That's, uh, oh, yeah, you, you, oh, yeah. We did a you whole episode that. about yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was a thing that happened. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, was a, that was certainly a thing that happened. <laughs> Wait, guys, we're really good together. You know why? Because we finish each other's sandwiches. Sandy stencils. Oh, gosh. Okay. He said, oh, okay, we'll get it. Sometime. He said sandwich. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll work, work it, it out. Yeah. We'll actually, yeah, we should actually rehearse this. It's one. a work in progress. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a work in progress, guys. It's all pretty loosey goosey. <laughs> Stu, uh, where can people find? Do you have a place to be found on the internet? You're not really a yeah, social. Do you, yeah, no, do you want leave people? Me do you want alone. Pe- yeah, do you want people on your Twitter and Instagram? <laughs> like, do you? <laughs> I actually, you know, uh, you have five pictures on your Instagram. There was, account. There was a there was a website called classmates.com. And somebody reached out. So you're to gonna me. plug them, but probably not yourself. Yeah. Somebody reached <laughs> out to me that and asked about you. Check. I'm no fool. And I was like, "Are you <laughs> kidding me? Who the hell are you?" <laughs> reference. <laughs> last week, reference. Call back. Call, Call back. back. Was that last week? It was last oh, week. Yeah. <laughs> 
The time flies. <laughs> Boy, how time flies over here. Uh, so you're not, you're, you want to remain sorry, anonymous. Sorry, sorry, classmates, go on. I want everybody to leave me alone. Okay. No, no. Uh, somebody went onto this old website. I mean, this is like 20 years ago. And it was, the idea of it was that you could connect with all of your old classmates before Facebook was Dude, around. Dude, you're and saying it like classmates.com is not still a website. It is. Is it? Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. You, you can present tense it, I so, guess. Yeah. <laughs> so it'd be like 20 years ago. Yeah. Before, back in uh, back when I was wearing newspapers for shoes. <laughs> it's impossible. Back in my no day. one was alive then. Th- this woman uh, put herself on as being in our class at PCS and then call, like, like sent me an email asking me about you. And I was like... I don't know who well, you that's, are, yeah, that's and that. I know that you didn't go. Nice you, scam. Like, you I weren't mean, in our yeah. four, fifteen person <laughs> class. So we were in the yes. class <laughs> about, about three times a year since two thousand and four. I've gotten random emails from someone saying, "Hello, uh, I, I I saw online from Nigeria that you went to Sasada High School." Do you happen to have a copy of your yearbook? Because Natalie Portman went to my high school, and um, people are trying to buy like weirdos are trying schlug. trying to buy exactly <laughs> are trying to buy like celebrity yearbooks, and like I have been hit up consistently every year for the last like sixteen years. To, I try to buy a yearbook. If I had a fucking yearbook. I would have sold it so long ago. <laughs> oh yeah, no, and honestly, my PCS honestly, yearbook you should is say gone. Yes, and then, like, what would be a funny thing for you to send them? Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, like yeah, you should actually just like, yeah, of course I of do. Me photoshopped. Yeah, Natalie. exactly. Like, kind of just like just a bunch of nudes. You know, like, just like, just like, <laughs> like <laughs> every square is just a dude's dick. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, <laughs> and the Natalie square has a mustache. On it yeah, exactly. To it's, a, it's a dick with a mustache. Like, like, <laughs> I think honestly. Honestly, you should totally troll those people. Like, I think that's the way to go. Yeah, it's just uh, weird, man. In honor of in honor of uh, November, dicks with mustaches, guys. Yeah. <laughs> D- D- dicks with also, mustaches month. Is this we we don't know when go this is. team? This Here could be this go could be November. Team. This could be July twenty forty two. Like we don't know when we are untethered in the universe with yeah, this yeah. podcast, <laughs> and it's wonderful. We are it's so free. You can't hold us accountable for shit. <laughs> we, 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 we have no no accountability. Oh, oh, raise but, the roof, and we're but, not referencing anything that's past two thousand. And so we're fine. Yeah, it's true. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> touche, sir. Touche. Casper Nailed was a great it. movie. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Devin Sawa. Like, like, it's like, it's like, <laughs> Kids need a glossary to listen to this podcast. Yeah, so they can exactly. be like, okay, Casper was a cartoon ghost that first appeared in comic book form. Devin Sawa is and was an actor? Question mark. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. No, I'm kidding. I know. Does he still work? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. know that he's trying to. I love Devin. Dude, I don't I love, know. I don't love yeah. Idle Hands. I, I, he's been great. He's great in a lot of yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're going to have him on the podcast. Yeah. This podcast does well. Maybe he'll start working again. It, it, it's like the Mirror <laughs> Network. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but guys, we should give Devin so a podcast. How about this? When he, he'll be a part of our network. Uh, when he comes over, I'll, I'll be wearing like a like a dark goatee. Like I'll be the Mirror Mirror version You're of him. I'm the, I'm the evil, evil alternate dimension version right. of him. <laughs> I'll be the older version of him. Yeah, exactly. I've lost all my hair. And I'm and I'm the, ghost of, beard. I'm the ghost of Christmas past. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And I just hold up a copy of, of Little Giants and I point, exactly. I point to it ominously. <laughs> uh, quivering. Yeah, so Stu, you, do, you do not want to be found. I'm, yeah, don't find I me. I am the opposite <laughs> of that. I am Stuart on, P. Miller. I am the opposite of that. Uh, <laughs> if you want to talk to me for any reason. You're still a dick. 22 years <laughs> later. <laughs> I love, yeah. And I didn't even tell the, the story when you had a seizure of the show. <laughs> that was very nice of you. Yeah, you're welcome. That was really the story I, that's. I know. I, I never told, told your seizure story. story. So there <laughs> you go. Like, you know, yeah. Warren, if you want to hear the seizure story, write in and tell us. And you can contact <laughs> us always at uh, bunnyearspod at gmail.com or bunnyearspod on Twitter. And also bunnyears.com at bunnyearspodcast on Instagram and search for bunnyears on YouTube. I am on the, the Twitter and the Instagram at camel toad. And uh, Mac here jumps on the Bunny Ears pod handle from time to time. Yeah, exactly. You also yeah. might I'm have hilarious. your own Twitter account by this point. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Who knows what the future holds? Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. That's, and that's what so, I should do to be a dick to him. I should start a Twitter start account him. for him. <laughs> I'll there, just answer my, all the my, questions. My, my brother Chris, he was friends with all of his fake, because there's a lot of fake me's and Kieran's and Rory's. <laughs> yeah. he got, he's friends with all of them, and he keeps on like, just like, he like, just like, you know, Message them going, Mom says bring home milk. <laughs> <laughs> so God bless. Yeah. And on that note, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Yeah, we should get out of here. We should get out of here. Uh, I'm, I'm Macaulay McLaughlin, and uh, this is Matt Cohen. And this and is Stuart Stu Miller. P. Miller uh, from Columbus, Ohio. <laughs> and uh, 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 don't you can forget to find him on Facebook. <laughs> yeah. Don't. don't. Please, please don't. do. Don't on Facebook. And, uh, 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 you know, uh, try not to suck too many dicks. But if you do, send pics. <laughs> suck them dicks. So good. Find me, gag me, take me to the bunny ranch.